From replacing Mario to creating whole new levels and worlds, ROM hackers have allowed us to experience Mario and the Mushroom Kingdom in a whole new light. And for those who have played through every single Mario game to date, and are looking for a new Mario adventure to play through, we've put together a list of our top 10 best Super Mario fan games and ROM hacks to have ever been made. But just before we do go into the video, if you do like this type of content and you would like to see some more top 10 videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button and of course, like this video. And with all that said, let's just get straight into it. These are our top 10 best Super Mario fan games and ROM hacks to have ever been made. Number 10, New Super Mario World The 12th Magic Orbs. This game feels like a real Nintendo Super Mario title that was never released due to some kind of crazy accident. The game itself looks and plays just like DLC content for the original title, if that were even possible back in the day. With super sleek levels and new boss fights, this hack is one for the fans that want to relive some of Super Mario's earlier adventures. Number 9, Super Mario World Odyssey. This game looks and feels like a Super Mario World game, but with the epic cappy abilities from the Nintendo Switch title. In this game, Mario can use it as a weapon, and even take over other enemies, just like in Super Mario Odyssey. As you can imagine, Nintendo weren't too happy about this blatant copying of their newest adventure, and as a result, they shut the ROM down a while back now, but as always, the internet has ways of both hiding and distributing copies still to this day. So if you're looking for a ROM hack with a cool gimmick, then this could be the one. Number 8, Jump, Janked Up, Mario Party. As Kaizo hacks go, this one is pretty good if you are wanting to play games on difficulty mode. Rather than being impossible from the get-go, the difficulty ramps up over time, giving gamers a bit more of a gentle experience for a little while at any rate. Full of zany gimmicks and cool features, Janked Up Mario Party has stood the test of time as being a solid ROM hack. If you're looking to get better at games that are pretty tough, then this one might be worth a try. Number 7, The Three Little Princesses. What happens when Mario and Luigi get kidnapped, and while you can't rely on the toads, who will save the day? The Three Little Princesses, of course, consisting of Rosalina, Daisy, and Peach. In this game, Rosalina has had a home captured by enemies, and Daisy and Peach team up with her in order to take back her homeland. With 11 custom levels and new bosses to encounter, this Super Mario World hack is great for someone looking for an alternate adventure, and that feels a bit nostalgic in equal measure. Number 6, Mario and Friends in the Ghost Gallery. In a way, this hack has a very similar feel to Luigi's Mansion 3. Mario and the gang have been imprisoned in paintings, and Toad of all people has to save them. Once you complete a character's level, the character becomes available to play with, so you don't have to mess around with Toad for too long. Unlock all the characters and get a secret surprise. Number 5, Mario is Missing Done Right. Back in 1992, there was an educational game called Mario is Missing that saw Luigi take the lead role, but it wasn't exactly a masterpiece until now. Now the game looks and feels way more like a Super Mario World game, and while it's not a complete copy, and some of the features have been omitted entirely, Luigi still looks good moving around similar themed levels. And what's great about this game is that it doesn't feel like a direct clone, it's almost like they replaced Mario out of an original Super Mario World last minute and Luigi stepped in. Number 4, The Second Reality Project, Cyclo Boo's Challenge. Meet the Cyclo Boo, the latest monster to try and take over the Mushroom Kingdom. Not only that, but he has the power to send Mario into another dimension, and that's exactly what he's done. A one-eyed Big Boo, going by Cyclo Boo, is intending on conquering the Mushroom Kingdom. In terms of size, this is one of the biggest Super Mario World hacks on the scene. It's basically an entirely new game complete with original music, and some of the longest levels in any side-scrolling game that has ever been played. Number 3, Super Mario World The Secret of the Seven Golden Statues. This is a game that's just as challenging enough without feeling like you're continually running at a brick wall, and in this game, you fight flying wigglers, contend with secret hidden warp pipes. The bosses are a force to be reckoned with as well, and all in all, a great non-sequel slash sequel that could have dropped on the console back in the day. Number 2, Yoshi's Strange Quest. If you still can't get enough of Yoshi's Island and Yoshi's Woolly World, then this side-scrolling Goliath will make you feel like it's Christmas come early. Plus in this game there's no having to babysit Mario or ferrying Mario around on your back. It's a proper Yoshi's adventure, and one that proves that Mario isn't the only guy keeping Nintendo fans occupied and happy. Experience funny dialogue that would never make it into a Nintendo game in a million years, and embark on a quest to retrieve your stolen eggs. 
Number 1, New Super Mario World 2 Around the World. In many ways, this game is pure chaos captured in a ROM hack. With a brand new adventure that feels like riding a lit rocket into space, this should definitely give some Super Mario fanatics something to sink their teeth into. And speaking of space, that's exactly where Bowser has taken Peach this time. He's again up to his old tricks, but now he's captured Princess Peach and taken her to a space station. With 119 levels, this is a pretty lengthy hack that will keep you occupied for months, with excellent gameplay and a lot of replayability. And as a result, in our top 10 Super Mario ROM hacks and fan games that have ever been made. And so there you pretty much have it. Those were our top 10 best ROM hacks and fan games to have ever been made for the Super Mario franchise. So what did you think of our list? Do you think that there was a fan game or ROM hack missing from this top 10? Or perhaps that you don't agree with the order that we've placed them in? If so, do let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below, I would love to hear it. And of course, not forgetting that if you do like this type of content and you would like to see some more top 10s, be sure to hit that subscribe button and of course, like this video. I'll also leave some more videos at the end of this video, including some more Super Mario related content. Thanks very much for watching guys and and I will see you all next time.